Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today I will show you how to create dynamic reactive shapes that respond to real-time movement, all without any keyframes. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned After Effects user, this tutorial will help you learn some cool techniques for using expressions and sliders to make your animations smarter and faster. So let's dive right in and create something amazing. All right, let's jump right in. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I'm calling it Reactive Shapes. As always, I'm using a resolution of 1920 by 1080 with a frame rate of 60 frames per second. Once done, click OK. Next, create a new solid layer and name it Background. You can pick any color you like, but I'm going with a dark blue shade. Hit OK. Now make sure no layers are selected. Head to the toolbar and select the Polygon tool. Here's a quick note. My fill is set to solid color and the stroke is set to none. For the fill, I'm using this specific color. Now create a polygon shape. Hold the shift key while dragging to keep it perfectly straight. This prevents any unintended rotation. Once the shape is ready, it's important to align the anchor point to the center of the shape. I've automated this step, but if you haven't, simply press Y to activate the anchor point tool, then grab the anchor point and drag it into the center. For now, I'll keep the anchor point slightly off center. If you want to skip repeating this process in the future, go to Edit, Preferences, General, and enable the option Center Anchor Point in New Shape Layers. Click OK, and you're good to go. Perfect. Let's rename this layer to Shape 01. Next, open this layer by clicking the small arrow to expand its options. If you press and hold the Command or Control key on your keyboard, you can expand all the groups inside this layer. Under Path, you'll see the Points property. Change its value to 6 to create a clean hexagon shape. Now let's ensure it's perfectly centered. Press R to open the rotation property and rotate the shape slightly. If it feels off-center, press Y to get the Anchor Point tool, then hold Control or a Command on Mac and reposition it precisely to the center. And there we go. It's perfectly aligned. Let's fit it 100%. Now for the magic. Align this shape to the center of your composition. Next, create a new null object and rename it Target. This will help us control our animation later. Duplicate this null object and rename the duplicate to Controller. This controller layer will be used to manage multiple layers easily with just a few adjustments. Select the controller layer, then go to Effect, Expression Controls, and apply the slider control effect. Rename the first slider to Max Scale. Duplicate this slider control and rename it Range. We'll use these sliders shortly. Now let's apply an expression to our Shape 01 layer. Select the Shape layer, press S to open the Scale property, and hold Alt or Option on Mac. Click the stopwatch icon to activate the expression editor. In the Expression field, simply paste the following code. Let's take a moment to see what this expression does. This expression controls the scale of a shape layer based on its distance from a target layer. It calculates the distance and uses max scale and range sliders from the controller layer to adjust the scale. The Ease function smooths the transition, scaling the shape larger when closer to the target and smaller as the distance increases. The same scale is applied to both X sun and Y dimensions, automating the process for a dynamic effect. At this point, we're not seeing any changes because we need to adjust a few settings in the controller. So select the controller layer and increase the max scale value. Let's set it to 140 for now. Now select the target layer and bring it closer to the shape layer. Hmm. Nothing's happening yet because the range isn't set properly. So go back to the controller and change the range value to around 40 or any other value you prefer. Now, if you move the target layer closer, you'll notice that the shape reacts dynamically to the movement. Perfect. Let's duplicate the shape layer to create more copies. To save time, I'll fast forward this part. I'm creating about 20 to 30 duplicates. Feel free to take your time to experiment and design a unique look. Enjoy this time lapse. I will be back in a few seconds.
This is the pattern I'm going with for now. If you'd like a more detailed tutorial on how to create these shapes quickly in After Effects, let me know in the comments and I'll make one for you. As you can see, the shapes are reacting, but it still doesn't look very dynamic. So let's tweak the settings again. Select the controller and adjust the range value. You can also lower the max scale value to get a more refined look. Feel free to play around with these settings to create your own unique effect. I'm leaving the project's download link in the description so you can experiment further. For example, you can make the shapes smaller or larger by simply adjusting the max scale slider. And here's the final result. Pretty cool, right? Great. Now, we don't need to see the controller layer anymore, so I'll place it off to the side. Let's focus on the target layer instead. Using this technique, you can create a variety of animations. I'll be making more tutorials with similar methods in the future. For now, let's add some animation to the target layer. I'm just adding simple position keyframes. This way, you won't have to animate it manually. If you want, you can also link the mouse cursor image to this target layer so that it follows its movement. Once you've added the keyframes, select all of them, press F9 to easy ease, and here's how it looks now. Let's go ahead and hide the target layer since we don't actually need to see it. The animation looks much cleaner and better now. While this could be done using keyframes, animating each shape layer one by one would take much longer. Now an important note, if you forget to add the expression to the shape layer before duplicating it, don't worry. There's a quick solution. Select any one of the shape layers, open its properties, and locate the expression on the scale property. Right-click on the expression and choose Copy Expression Only. Then, select all the shape layers where you want to apply it. You can hold Shift to select multiple layers. Once selected, simply paste the expression and it will apply to all of them instantly. And that's it. We're done. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, good luck and peace.